So there are three ways, broadly speaking, in which thermal energy or heat, thermal energy or heat can be transferred. And they are all represented here in this, um, we actually see, anytime you see a fire, actually uh, fire is creating thermal energy by, um, from chemical energy. So um, here we have, clearly this is hot down here. How do we get this heat um, transferred out? So the first one I'm gonna show you is we can, thermal energy, or, or yeah, thermal energy can be transferred by radiation. And we're gonna talk more about electromagnetic, electromagnetic, um, abbreviated EM, electromagnetic radiation. But the thing about radiation is, and I think I've mentioned maybe in context of our sun, our sun is sending energy in all directions by this mechanism, electromagnetic radiation. The cool thing about electromagnetic radiation, no pun intended, as compared to the other two methods I'm gonna show you, is electromagnetic radiation can actually happen in a vacuum. Uh, that's to say when you think of a vacuum, you think of no molecules, no atoms. Electromagnetic radiation can do that. And so basically what it is, and you kind of see these squiggle marks, is think of a thermal, um, of, of, uh, thermal energy or heat just wiggling out. Now when we talk about various, various um, types or forms of, of fam, uh, with various forms of electromagnetic radiation, one of them is infrared. And I'm gonna go ahead and where it says hot, or maybe I'll, over here I'll put IR for infrared radiation, okay? Actually that infrared radiation is thermal energy. So that's one way. Uh, another way is by convection. And so actually within this, and I'm gonna kind of talk more about each one of these, I guess especially con, um, convection and um, electromagnetic or radiation. What convection is, it's the whole energy, thermal energy is relocated by a whole blob of material relocating. In this case, the water that's closest to the fire is getting hot. Now one of the things about fluids like water or air as they get hot, well actually solids too, but um, they, they, uh, they go, the molecules go faster because we've talked about all matters in motion and as they go faster, that's the way I think of it anyway, that they, they expand. The spaces between the molecules increases and as that happens they become lighter or less dense. And one of the things you might know about things that are less dense is they tend to float. Okay, and that's actually kind of what we're seeing here. These, these chunks of water that are hotter than their surrounding, okay, will expand, they'll become less dense, and they'll float. Okay, so you have blobs of liquid relocating, rising, okay, and then they are being replaced by cooler blobs of water. Okay, this is the relocation of thermal energy um, by convection. The, and, and radiation and convection are very important in the Earth's atmosphere, or with, with regard to transferring thermal energy within the, within the, the geosphere atmosphere system. The last one is not as important, and it's conduction. And you might imagine if you hold that pan long enough, your hand's gonna get hot. And the reason your hand gets hot is not because, it, it may get hot, honestly, a little bit because of radiation, depending upon, okay? But mostly the reason that your hand finally gets hot is because um, energy is conducted molecule by molecule by molecule. That's to say, these get hot and they bump each other. That's what conduction is, okay? Um, um, down here where they're hot, they, get, they, they bump each other um, share their energy, they bump each other, share their energy, they bump each other, share their energy, and eventually that um, uh, kinetic energy, which actually means, uh, increased kinetic energy means things are hotter, makes it all the way up to the handle.